everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, the Up Chanel's 40s World, where we do reviews. We have conversations. We talk about what's trending on social media these days. I want to extend a happy, happy fourth, a happy safe fourth for all my YouTube subscribers. Have a blessed one. Be safe with those, um, what do you call it, firecrackers and those other, um, what do you call it, holiday 4th of July fireworks. Be careful, be careful. And stay away from people's houses, shooting them things up in the air, and they come back down on people's roofs and, and trying to start a fire. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about who's trending again on social media. And it's just not a good look, as usual. Well, it's none other than NeNe Leaks, y'all. NeNe Leaks is just telling everybody she don't know why. We thought she was not going to be appearing on season 12 just because she didn't film the first couple of episodes <laughs> when they start uh, filming for season 12. But I was like, I already know NeNe. You ain't got to cover up for me. I got ears to hear and eyes to see. They were punishing you. I don't care what you come up with, what storyline you come up with, what how you try to portray yourself and not filming when the other women were filming. You got docked, okay? It's your word against my word, against the world's word, against social media word. You know, it's just out there. Everybody's going to have a speculation. Everybody's going to have an opinion. My opinion is they got you back for sitting up there throwing a man up against the wall, making him lose his teeth and you put hands on Cynthia Bailey, allegedly, not Cynthia Bailey, I'm sorry, Portia Williams when she was pregnant, allegedly, and then Candy talking about she fearing for her life and all this stuff, she got to go. All that happened at your house, uh, 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 really your come to Jesus moment that everybody had to come and support you because you just going through so much with Greg. And I'm going to tell you, the true troop of the matter was Miss Marlo Hampton. She was like, girl, I had to break my hair appointment and my hair needed to get done. And I, I ain't like, Marlo Hampton be stepping out sharp as a cat, honey, down to her uh, head, top of her head to down to the sole of her feet. Name brand. Name brand garden too, honey. Name brand garden too. Okay, but she knows who she are. She knows what she's, what she what she is, and she played her part on Real Housewives of Atlanta, so she ain't never got to get a peach <laughs> in my eyes. If they cut her check every time the rest of them get a check, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool, cool, cool. Cool beans, cool beans. But uh, I, start, I saw her on one of my photos I was getting for this commentary. She was straight down in Gucci. Wasn't Gucci uh, saying nasty things about uh, black people? Or, or, or people wanted to boycott them. I think T.I. was doing something. They had put out some uh, wear that was just like back in the day racist. And he was telling everybody who had Gucci to, you know, don't support them anymore. But I'm like, T.I. ain't one reputable because he'll come out in Gucci clothes in a minute after everything been done and said. And, he, you know, they don't lost some revenue when it comes to the black race buying into their products. You know, they go back to it. But then he was like, no, I am going to just uh, continue wearing what I want to wear, regardless if these people are racist against a certain color of people. It doesn't matter to me. Because I don't think Nene thinks she's all black anymore because she wears so much blonde. And she tends to look like Kim Zosiak. It's getting very scary out there that she's coming to uh, look like Kim Zosiak. And I got some photos in my uh, video so y'all can see where I'm going with it. Because she don't wear her natural color anymore. Which is uh, red or, or black. Or, or even burgundy. Or light copper tone blonde. She wants to go totally white blonde. Like you born out of your mama's womb blonde. You know. I like. I think really. She trying to be slick. Want to be white now. Because she don't. Even, I mean, if, if she could get away with lightening up her skin like Michael Jackson, she probably would do that because she has turned out to me to kind of be like she's self-sabotaging herself. She don't like who she is anymore and she don't want to be like a part of her race anymore because she's aligning herself with more of another ethnicity and want to be seen like them and she wants to be around her own people. <laughs> I'm like... 
I decided, you Nina, know, she's changing right before my eyes. So I wouldn't put past her in a couple of more years. She started lightening up like she continues to lighten up her hair. But we're going to go on and get into some commentary that um, is a, a trending on social media. And HollywoodLife.com had to sit and put an article out on her. And it's titled, Nene Leakes shuts down all the rumors swirling that she was suspended from the Real Housewives of Atlanta and wanted to ensure she was compensated early. I'm like, or fairly, I should say. I'm like, Nene, you can play the game. You can spin it, talk it however you want to. But we already know. Real Housewives of Atlanta is your, uh, well, here are all of y'all's uh, bread and butter, to tell you the truth, because, yes, you're allowed to have all these boutiques with clothing wear that can be made anywhere, because you're not designing anything in particular, to have people pay extra, uh, extraordinary payments for your uh, clothing wear. So it's, it's just something you probably don't bought from the Asian community. They sell it in, in every stores and whatnot. I mean, at least I could say Rashida with Pressed Atlanta, she's doing her thing down now. They might be running a meal type clothing, but she out there sporting her clothing, wearing her clothing. And really, she needs to capitalize on putting pressed clothes into action. But I don't know if she has to like go and talk to designers and it costs more money to group up with them. Or, I don't know. And it's just more easier to just buy clothing and say, oh, OK, I like that. I want 1,000 units of that and 2,000, 5,000 units of that and this and the other. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so um, I know when you buy in bulk and stuff, it's a lot cheaper. It's no different than being in a jewelry or uh, stone type of paraphernalia or 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 what do you call it brand because me and my daughter uh and we still do we um make jewelry on the side uh for special people and um it you know it just depends on if you're uh buying and um, well if, for it to be cost breaking you have to buy in bulk and try to sell everything that you're going that you're purchasing before you go and purchase anything else and it's, it's not a good idea to try to make special uh, made stuff for people because you always have to go and invest in that particular product. And then you have all this other um, inventory left over to really, what are you going to do with it? You got to some way, somehow incompensate it or incorporate it into uh, what was a good seller and try to weed in some other things to try to make a new, um, what do you call it? Um, hardware or item that you're trying to sell so now you have to buy in bulk have to buy in bulk and nene i'm like girl you need real housewives of atlanta and pretty much you don't sell your soul okay because you're just doing too much you keep talking about people riding your coattails and putting on all these women such as Cynthia bailey that don't really made a name in the modeling field i mean it might be old school but at least hey Black don't crack on her. She still look good at 51, 52. We're just trying to help her grow a more backbone where she get people told. I mean, you ain't got to verbally cuss people out, use a profanity and all that. But you get back with the kickback, you know, uh, when you're trying to make a point or prove a point or trying to keep somebody off you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could talk about you behind your back. But you know, we even have you talk in front of my face, you know, why I can hear it. We we want to shut all that stuff down. So we want Cynthia to kind of grow a backbone and come on with it for season 12. Because Nene is just doing too much. Somebody needs to shut her down. You know what I'm saying? Put her back in her place. Because like I said, she's just turning in front of me. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, if you want to be white, you want to have the, all the facial features and you know, hang around them thinking, you know, you'll be more accepted in their community or why not? Fine. Why not be a part of the human race and just love on everybody, including your own race, instead of putting, you know, them down and thinking if you go into another class of people and another race of people, they're going to treat you better. You're going to feel better at home. No, Nene, they still, they peep game too. They still human beings. They still women. And you forget the color barriers. Just make sure, let's just put everybody as a, a maroon color. Okay. And we all believe red blood, but women like to be catty. 
in all ethnicities, okay? Ethnicities, all cultures, all races. We are catty, okay? So you're not going to run from that thinking you're going to team up with the Caucasian and the Italians and all of them. No, honey, they still come with drama. And you don't even know. And then they could talk another language and totally leave you out. <laughs> are you bilingual? Can you get with them on that edge? Then you'll be somebody fierce to be messed with. But no, no, you talk the same language. And then they can, the ones you're trying to group up with, they start talking about their native tongue or whatnot. You don't even know what's going on. And they be cussing you out verbally, but you don't even can't comprehend to talk their language or understand it. So you're going to still be left out. Okay. But anyway, that was my commentary. Let me get back to this article. That's what we came here for, right? Okay, again, let me read the title. It says, Nene Leakes shuts down all the rumors swirling that she was suspended from the Real Housewives of Atlanta and wanted to ensure she was compensated fairly. Okay? Uh, let me see if we have a person. Sarah Jones uh, wrote it on July 2nd at 726 Eastern Standard Time Zone. That's my time zone here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. And she's a correspondent from Hollywood Life. Okay? We're going to read on. It says Nene Leakes, 51, confirmed she would be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta on June 25th, despite earlier fan speculations that she may sit season 12 out. A source close to production exclusively told Hollywood Life that she always planned on joining a hit Bravo show again. Nene just wanted to make sure she was being compensated fairly. She wasn't going to start filming without a deal she was content with in place. Well, in my eyes, Stepping away from this commentary for a second. Nene, if you did not sign up with them, it would have been okay. They would have been still pushing forward, playing forward until they found somebody ideally to replace you. And to me, the one that could replace you and set things trailblazing on fire would be Marlo Hampton. <laughs> I said, I don't know what has come to why they won't give her a peach. <coughs> or what or whatnot, but I'm telling you, Marlo, honey, she'll still put dirt on the table and you'll still be eating it up on your plate, okay? And she'll give you some uh nice liquor wine to uh wash it down with, okay? And then smile in your face and you'll be smiling in her face, okay? It'll be very kosher. But Nene, you don't have Marlo's class. I'm sorry, you don't, you're uncouth. Okay, you're a structure like Play-Doh or clay that needs to be molded, molded, molded until we come out with some perfection because you have tainted your own spirit where you're a nice looking woman. You dress appropriately. You know, you're stylish, but you just look ugly because of your demeanor and how you put people down. And I've watched you over several, several episodes and seasons where you have definitely changed. Like you don't even want to be a part of the black race anymore. And that is so sad. I mean, you get into it with your your children's children's mothers. You, you, you sit up here. You can't have a decent relationship or friendships with your cast members, Lord knows you might be in outs with your family members, some of them. Who knows? You know, you got a sister running around here that want to, you know, not necessarily get on TV and exploit you. But, you know, there's no love there. You're not showing anything. You're showing Greg, his crisis. But, you know, you have a sister. All right. Uh, I don't know if many mamas still living or not. Uh, get in the comments and tell me that if you want to share uh, your investigative uh, in ingenuity to let me know if Nene's mother still live. I mean, I'm sure you got aunts. I mean, go back to Athens. You know, let us see some. Hell, go on a trip with your family. Just let us see little parts. Let us see you, you still have life and love in there for your family. Or hell, bring some of your friends that ain't never been on, you know, the tube. You do have them, right? You, you're giving me the tea that you don't have friends from your past or friends that are not a part of the Bravo franchise is what you're giving me. That, I'm just saying. So moving on back to this commentary, it goes on to say it just took longer than expected. But she's happy with the outcome. The insider revealed Nene was always confident a deal would be worked out. Speaking of Nene's going, ongoing feuds with Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, and Kenya Moore, the pal continued. She's not a fan of most of the ladies right now. When has she, this is my commentary, when has she ever been a fan? Anybody that comes and wants to attempt to take what she calls a throne, 
she's immediately against them. I mean, let's look at Kim Zosiak. See how that played out? Let's look at Sheree uh, Whitfield. See how that played out? Uh, let me see. She had some run-ins with Candy back in the day. Damn sure don't like Kim, Kenya Moore. Because Kenya Moore can get back water and twirl all over her. Uh, making a little uh, windstorm here and there whenever she chooses and feel like it. <laughs> she don't like anybody that can have a comeback for the comeback that she dishes out. She don't like it, okay? Even Claudia Jordan she got into it with. And Claudia kind of was a little roasted, just a, slag, a tad bit, you know what I'm saying? Just a tad bit, but she was good. She always trying to get on with Portia, you know what I'm saying? Portia had to get a straight Portia back. Portia about that life, okay? Portia will put hands on you if she have to. She get tired of talking. She just want to go on and just, you know, handle her business with you physically if she can and can get away with it. All right. <laughs> but anyway, it goes on to say, speaking of Nene's ongoing feuds with Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, Kenya Moore, the pile continue. She's not a fan of most of the ladies right now, but she loves the show and the platform it creates for her, and she never wanted to walk away. No, this is my commentary, not in the article. Nene, you can't walk away. You know you're not good as a business person on your own, so you need a stronger backbone behind you and that's the bravo family they uh position you in certain places certain outlets so you can make extra money on the side compliments of them then they give you the money to continue to degrade yourself making you look bad in your community your race and they want you to act a fool. So you're okay. You said, okay, you want me to do all that? Uh, all right. I, I wouldn't mind putting myself on the line for that, but you need to pay me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, really, what is Nene giving us these days besides temper, temper, temper tantrum? And then she goes on to social media, radio show, broadcasting shows, uh, television shows, and she just put hate. For her own race of women. You know what I'm saying? She just put hate on their names. It, it's just crazy. So you're saying Cynthia Bailey's doing all this cutthroat stuff behind the back. Well, hell, you're doing it in front of her face. So I'm like, whether you're coming straight forward or you're going behind the uh, back and, and, and trying to stab the person in the back, it's still the same thing. It's still wrong. So I'm like, Nene, you're doing the same thing. You're just calling it a different tool. All right. Moving back to the commentary. It says, um, it was always her goal and plan to return with a peach, and she was confident it would happen. She was laughing at all the reports saying she was suspended from filming, as there was never any truth to any of that. The suspension rumor started after a while, season 11, during which Nene went off when Candy Portia and a cameraman went into her closet doing a party without her permission. Nene leaped up and ripped at the unnamed cameraman's shirt to prevent him from going forward. Portia claimed during the reunion episode that he went to the hospital after the altercation. Uh, for Nene, this is a job, the friend added. She's not really looking forward to filming because she doesn't enjoy being around the negativity as she's asked. Uh, she hasn't talked to Cynthia in months. She also can't stand Kenya and isn't in a good place with Portia either. Of course, she's still hurt by that, but things are better with Candy now. So she's relieved that that situation is at least in a better place. And she now has newcomer Yovana Monoplacier to lean on as well. She's just happy Greg's health is better. So to dive back into the negativity will be tough, but it's really just back to work for her. I'm like, Nene, everybody gave you support during season 11 and it was shown on TV. You know, they had the uh, bite back or take back words that they really wanted to hurl at you, throw at you, okay? But they were like, now nah, she's going through some stuff. I don't want to look like a bully on, on TV. I don't want to look insensitive. This is what were going on in your cast members' minds, okay? But you're coming up looking like the, the villain, which you are. You are the villain. You are the bully. You are the uh, name dropper of negativity. And you're getting paid to do it. You're getting paid very well. Okay, to play the villain. All right, so accept your title and your honor and go on with it. Do you just like Judas told 
uh, what Jesus told Judas, go on and do what you got to do to fulfill the prophecy. And, you know, let's get through this. OK, but you would never eat at my table again. You're you're the son of Satan. And that's just it. That's just how it rolls. And see, Nene, that's why I don't pretty, pretty much put you. You always talking about Cynthia would do anything and everything to eat at a better table or to tear down another black woman or a, 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 a person. But you're doing the exact same thing that you're talking against. OK, so I'm like, girl, go on, sit down somewhere and you're going to be on your vinyl before it's over with. You're going to be the upset candy or candy going to be the upset you. And you're going to be in back in a uh, negativity land or negativity veal with uh, candy. And it's just going to be an ongoing thing because that's what you were told by Bravo that you need to bring to the table. You don't need to be friends with anybody. You need to be the opposite. It needs to be chaos. And calmness. Chaos. You bring the chaos and let somebody else bring the calmness. Which I guess is tit for tat, yin and yang with the Cynthia Bailey and you struggle. You know, you want to tell Cynthia who she can play with in the uh, uh, pen, the play pen. And if it's not who you say she could play with, then you at odds with her. I mean, really, Nene? You are close going as close to 55 to 60 and you still have this elementary mentality going on i don't understand baby it's not a good look okay but i'm sure you don't sell your soul to that in entertainment world true entertainment and it, it, it's cool with me if that's where you want to go out the world go on out honey all right may we never meet in person but um that's well, let's go on back to the commentary because that was my my little sidebar speech to y'all. It says, as we reported earlier, Nene shut down rumors that she was suspended from Real Housewives of Atlanta during a new radio interview. I have never been suspended and I am on season 12. Thank you very much. She stated, well, Nene, you can get suspended and still have a job. <laughs> OK, you just have to go through that uh, hand clap or, 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 or what do you call it? Uh Tap on the hand or shoulder as don't do this no more. Don't do this no more. And we are going, we ain't going to speak on it. And you don't have to speak on it. But yeah, you are going to get suspended. We're going to dock your pay and you're going to like it. Or guess what? You can kick rocks and be off, be off of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Bravo franchises, all of that. And go on back to your normal, boring, drool, humdrum, hardworking life. Okay? Deal with us. Do what we ask you to do. A kick rocks and leave. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> and that's probably what they told Nene. So she had to sit out because ain't nobody going to miss no taping regardless because they just don't feel like uh, they want to be around these people that they don't in particular care for. Now, we don't get down like that. Money's money. If we if you say you taping down, then I'm right. When, when am I supposed to be down and what? And I give you what I can give you. OK, but I don't want to I, I, I film with them. You could have me in the same room, but we ain't having no conversation. <laughs> you can make maybe demands or uh, assumptions to what you want to film in regards to how you're going to be portrayed in a certain light or tone. OK, but when they say it's taping time and they need you down, you're going to be there. Nene. You're going to be there. So it was more so. It wasn't quite your time to take because you were taking a brief sabbatical, which was forced on you. OK, but if you want to claim that story and keep up with that story, go ahead, girl. Cause we know the truth. We can see between all the bull crap. We can see. OK, we can see through all those feces you're trying to drop down on us. All right. But moving back to the commentary, it goes on to say Nene also addressed the rumor that she will be star starring in her own Real Housewives of Atlanta spinoff series. A la Kim Zosiac, don't be tardy. Sadly, that's not happening. No, that's not true, Nene explains. If I've gotten a spinoff, they haven't told me yet, and I need them to tell me. I haven't filmed a thing. I read that, too. If I had a spinoff, I'll be happily telling you about it. And we know you would, Nene. We know you would, okay? And that was the end of that commentary. All right, but, you know, to just sum this whole thing up, Nene, you signed up with the Devil's Channel, basically, a mindless drama. You made a contract or oath to continue to do what you do to get your money, and that is fine. That is so factually fine. Do you, boo, keep, you know, cashing them checks at the bank, 
keep looking the way you're looking, which is negative on social media. It's negative when we do reviews on you. And it's going to continue to be negative. But hey, if you like negative negativity to produce that positivity to your bank account, <laughs> you go ahead, girl. Go do you. But everything is said. It's said for a reason. Okay? At least on my channel. And everything you think that glitters, it ain't gold. And all money is not good money that you should be partaking in when you have to do alternative things to stay in that limelight of what they call fame, fortune, success. All right? But that's all I had for NeNe Leaks and the story that Hollywood Life put out. Um, if you like my commentary, please share my videos. Please like my videos. And if you haven't done so at this time, please subscribe, okay? But I'll check you out for something else on my channel. I'm going to be taping a lot uh, since I'm going to be off today, tomorrow, and the weekend. So you're going to hear from me a lot. And I will be doing a live challenge on uh, or for Five Babe. If y'all don't know who she is, check her out on YouTube. Uh, she's a YouTube creator, contenter. Um, I think it's F A Y E B A B E, but she's a um, definitely well known uh, YouTube creator, and it'll pop up if you search her in YouTube. So go show her some love on her channel, go show some love to Nicole Tyler, S. Hutchison, um, James Caldwell, Sean Bradley, uh, Timothy Blaine. Uh, let's see who else I watch. Hey, on later, Nico, Isaiah Parker, he still got his channel. I mean, these are people that I definitely uh watched way back when I started my YouTube channel. We had some rocky roads with some of the uh YouTube content content creators. But it's all water under the bridge to me. I want everybody's channel to be successful. I want to be able to go on everybody's channel and drop little, you know, good reviews. You know, if they're saying something I like, I agree with, fine. I don't go into a lot of um, drama field stuff and leave comments because, you know, I'm just not with it. And even though I may think some things that are being said are factual, but I like creator contenters that go in you know, take a story, review it. And some of them do do a good job um, uh, when, it talk, when they're talking about other YouTubers and stuff. But I think everybody has a platform. They should be able to say what they want to say on their channel. Sometimes it may be unprofessional or just unlike human behavior you want to show. But these people are who they are. And half the time who you get on YouTube is not necessarily the person that you get in real life. I try to be true to form. Uh, I'm a very forgiving spirit of a person. Um, and that's just it. I mean, we, it's so much um, stuff that's going on, on YouTube that is negative. And I just wish people get back to doing what they love, bringing in more content, uh, not content, but more subscribers. Hey, some subscribers should get their own channel and see what everything you have to go to to put in a video, the time, the editing. Uh, the visuals, just to, you know, see what we go through. And like I said, some of us do it for extra income, such as myself. And I, so I do enjoy it sometimes, but if it gets to be where it's affecting my real job and I need to pay more attention or it's, uh, I need to pay more attention to my family and whatnot, then I'm going to do that. But like I said, I have a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people come to me and say, you know, why don't you get your YouTube channel back up, girl? I like, I missed you, da, 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 da. and I'm like, okay, all right, whenever I can have time. But I had to soul search, and I had to find a balance between it all. So one doesn't take over everything. Just like when you go to your real job, you can't let that take over your life where you bring all the stuff home to your family time, because that's not fair to your family. But uh, yeah, I'm doing a challenge uh, on Five Babe. Well, I guess it's gonna be live on my YouTube channel. But it's going to be judging. So uh, I can't say what I'm going to be doing at all. It may be boring to some people. But I find it very relaxing. And it's your own creation. And, you know, you get to wear it from time to time if you don't wear it every day. So 
So that's going to be interesting. I hope people enjoy and support me on my live, which is going to be, I think it's Ju July 13th. I think it's July 13th. Yeah, it's July 13th. I guess it's going to be that whole day. So when I go live, please, please, please come over and view me, like me, <laughs> and share. Because <coughs> I need to be doing some supplemental income in here. I need a new computer. I need to do a lot. Of, I want a microphone. Yes. I want to, you know, turn up while I can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I might go in another heyday and be like, ah, it's too much work doing this. But I'm trying to keep it where it's fun, it's entertaining, and um, people enjoy coming over to my channel and getting the best that I got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, I'll flood y'all with some YouTube videos. Hope y'all enjoy them. And I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend that we got going on. It's a long one for some of us. So enjoy. Spend time with your family. Sit and talk to your family members while you got the extended time. And just love on each other. And love on other YouTubers, okay? Because everybody needs that in their life, you know? Some of us don't have a lot of friends in our real life and we have to come to YouTube, you know? So be friendly and try to be genuine with your uh, your friendships. And I will talk to you soon for something, okay? Have a good one. Bye.